Um, I think uh, I, I did. I do remember saying that I thought it was inevitable that at the end of this Walter White would have to die. It would be the only fitting end to this. And yet, because it's Breaking Bad and it's so dark, I had a, 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 I have to revise that. And now I'm 50-50, thinking what would be more unfittingly perfect than to have everyone else go? He's left to live through whatever hell he's created for himself. And I thought, that would just when you, everybody's thinking as I do, oh, he can't possibly survive. He's, he's, he's you know, going to be a train wreck. But what if it wasn't? It? And I, and we don't know. So. so it'd be like the ultimate karma that he has to leave in the world. That he has exactly. That that might be it too. I'm not sure. So everybody's saying like, who's going to kill him? Who's I mean like, who's going to have? <laughs> Who's the the new enemy for him now? But isn't he is worse than enemy now? So is it just about himself fighting against himself? And sorry for the other characters. It is. He is. Um, he's his ego has gone out of this world. Uh, now you know if you're if you're able to put it in check and, and live with it and understand how much control it to some degree, that's healthy. But he doesn't know how to control this. This is not been something that he's worked on or practiced for the last 25 years as an adult. So he's not familiar with that. And um, yeah, I think it's it's going to be his Achilles heel, obviously. At, at the end of season four, when Gus is killed, uh, the, the conventional wisdom would be, oh my God, we just dodged a bullet. Think, oh, we, uh, we got to get out of here. This is not the world I want to live in. But not Walter White. Walter White thinks, I just beat the best chess champion in the world, and I had all the odds against me. <laughs> Look what I can do. And so instead of backing off, he accelerates. And in this fifth and sixth seasons, you'll see him try to expand his enterprise, as opposed to contract it and get out. No, he's expanding. He's moving forward. So he's, it's like he's on a, he's on a, a speed himself. What about the, the family in, in, in this? Because, well, we have like different layers. Your character is still not aware of what's going on. Yours is now really part of the, part of the, the stuff. So yeah. basically, he, he, is she going to maybe become his best ally or his new enemy? And, and is he going to finally find out? Because that, that, that would be like the worst thing that can happen to Walt, I guess. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah, he's get that. I don't get, I don't get that. No, it, from my standpoint, Walt Jr. still loves his father. He's still like, oh, I I have my father. He's not dead. It's like, he has, he has cancer. I was like, it was devastating in the first little bit. Cause it's, it's just hearing that, that your father has six months to live and he's inoperable. And it just, it's pretty much what he felt and what the whole family is feeling. And I'm still in that little bubble. <laughs> he's, he's on a mission. I'm still going on with that and loving my father and enjoying it. And, uh, I'm just completely clueless. And I'm excited to see what happens when Walt Jr. is and he gets into that world. It can either, either be one very devastating because how many people are you going to walk up to? And, be seeing your dad maybe in handcuffs. And I think that's what Skylar and so much of her motivation has been to keep the kids safe, to keep them in particular away from the knowledge of this. I mean, she was ready to turn them in at one point, she was ready to run away. None of that she could do because, specifically because of Walt Jr. So she, at any cost, is going to try and protect these kids. But she now doesn't know who this person is at all anymore. She thought she knew, just, I mean, she finds out the first bit of information about the drugs and thinks that is, that's as far and as, as bad as it gets. There's no idea that it goes to the, to the extent of what she finds out at the end of season four. And she is now thinking to herself, oh my God, now we're in this so deep and he's not going to get, and she understands also, he's not going to walk away from this right now. He's not going to stop it. He's not going to get out of it. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I think it's a 
Uh, so she surrenders in a way, then? Because sort of like, it's not going to stop. Like, just I think that there's some, it. some of that is a sense of, I, I, maybe I just do finally give up. And she's just not got that motor. Vince has, has created her to be a person who's so pragmatic and so constantly trying to figure it out. How do I move forward? Yeah. That's and she, so she can't, she can't give up for their, for their sake. So she keeps going, she keeps going. But I think it's just for her, finally, the way she's really strong is called herself together so tightly it's almost like she's had it like this and now the kettle is just boiling over and, thing, and things are starting to break up. Would she get more ruthless in the next season? Would she get more ruthless? Can she break bad? <laughs> she's been breaking. You know, I think she's really been breaking bad and now I think she actually starts to break apart in a lot of ways that we've never seen her before. And, and objectively from, from the whole then you look at okay here are the dynamics inside the white household. This crazy man, the woman who is vibrating on the brink of, of you know, going crazy, and this guy who's like, hey, dad, and, and to see me go, hey, son, how are you? Listen, you want some pancakes? Yeah. <laughs> she just sits there going, oh, my God. Yeah, so, the, so the, the juxtaposition of all those points of view makes for great, great, wonderful comedy. And that also reminds you of more than the beginning of the, the show. I mean, the, the yeah. father-son sort of relationship sort of brings you back to the beginning of the show. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because Walter feels that despite what he's doing, he still feels he can and wants a normal life at home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and in some aspect, I believe that's possible. I don't believe in, in the old-fashioned uh, movie or TV villain that they just hate because they hate him. And they want to kill people because they want to... No, there's always duality to that. And I believe that it's within the human experience to be able to violently or angrily kill someone, wash your hands, go home, and gently and nurturingly love your little baby daughter. I think it's within all of our capability to have that kind of thing. What's it been like for you personally to be this guy for years on end? Uh, it's been great. It's been a fantastic journey. For, for an actor, you're always looking for those characters that have more than one dimension to them anyway. And now you have Walter White, who has been painted. It's like, here's the palette. You can, you're going to go from this nice guy, depressed, to this guy taking risks, he's frightened, he's trying to figure things out, he's running for his life, to a guy who's angry, to a guy who intimidates, to a guy who holds his power. You know, and every, this metamorphosis. But is it easy for you to turn him off? Yeah, it's not hard. It isn't hard because it's. it's like, oh, oh, not again. What about the relationship with Jesse? Yes, with Jesse, because he's the greatest romance on television. Most unlikely. It's most unlikely as well. Most unlikely. Yeah, it really is. Most unlikely. But it really is. These two wouldn't associate with each other under any other circumstances other than that that particular time in their lives I needed him and if you recall in the pilot episode I basically extorted him to be my accomplice but they're both some broken women basically yeah they're you know yeah Unhappy. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. That's what kind so, of on this like, deep, deep level. Yeah. yeah. They, they are broken men, and um, and thinking that their path that they're on now is going to fix them, and we as an audience know. But Walter did some unspeakable things. Oh come on! Yeah. <laughs> the, show, the show started about this guy who has a cancer, so he's going to die. So there was a lot of about death. Right. Um, and there is this fly famous episode where it's this reflection on this. Um, well, where are we now uh, with all that is done, and, and where is the cancer gone, and, and, and is it still a reflection on, on this? It is. Um, the cancer is still, it's not omnipresent, it sort of takes a backseat because the thrust of, the, of this plot was so driven that even Walter himself forgot about his own medical condition. But the diagnosis is still a diagnosis, regardless of remission, which really means it hasn't progressed. It hasn't, it hasn't gotten bigger. So 
he's still going to die within two years of lung cancer if he doesn't die of something else. Good morning. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got that bonus also on this one. If you have the car wash and you used to be a teacher on the show, do you think we will see you going back to teaching at, in, at some place or do another cover operation for, for being the kingdom? I'm always teaching, but uh, not necessarily in a, in a, in a, in a strict classroom. Um, no, I don't see that happening. The, it, The momentum has driven us away from that whole point. And then, quite frankly, when you reflect on it, being a teacher was like a different life for Walter White. It was like, I, he doesn't even know who that guy is anymore. So, would he expand the Sorry, one more minute before we have to rotate. Like, franchises all, like, Gossip mm. Polos. Oh, no, I don't think he has any interest in, in doing, in being a, you know, a franchise owner or something. He's very proud of what he does. In fact, It, it has been up until now all right to live in, in that kind of infamy uh, and anonymous respect that he was getting because of Heisenberg and it's the best on the market. And, and, but now it's still, it's not enough. He wants to now have full credit for this and he wants to be, he wants to be bigger and better than Gus was. So that's where it's heading now in the fifth season. It's, Gonna get bigger. Can those be the same cast of Money Town get out of here? Absolutely. No, they and they were like, oh, we saw Walter White on set, and first of all, it was like terrorizing. Do you think that that was something that contributed, not contributed to change our image in terms of like an actor? It's not Logan, okay, the, 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 the guy we know from Seinfeld or Malcolm. Um, it's like also the nice guy who evolved into the bad. I don't know. I didn't think about. I do think about image when when I consider uh, roles to take because you don't want to stay on the same thing. If if I had taken, I had offers to take uh, silly dad roles after Malcolm in the Middle, but that's seven years of that, and I would just be, you know, redundant. And uh, so no, it's up to the actor to then say, okay, that was that. Now I am shifting over here. And that same thing with Breaking Bad. That was great. That was terrific. And now shift somewhere else. And more directing? Uh, yeah, I want to do more directing. I'm, I'm hoping to direct a movie next year and, that I wrote. And uh, so we'll see. Thank you, guys.